The San Diego chapter of the Building Industry Association is housed in a sleek modern office building in Kearney Mesa. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm nice Andrew. To meet you too, Andrew. Hi. Hi. I'm here to meet the group's president and CEO, Bora Winkel. The BIA, as it's known, is the chief lobbying arm of developers. We sit down to talk in his corner office, and it doesn't take long for Winkel to name what he sees as the biggest barrier to building new housing in San Diego, NIMBYs. NIMBY, as you well know, stands for not in my backyard. It seems like we have a new term also, it's called banana, build absolutely nothing anywhere near. Anywhere, <laughs> that's a long one. And, um, and what, 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 uh, what happens is that we are uh, facing folks who are uh, very anti-density. And density has become a kind of a four-letter word um, for reasons that are completely um, insincere. What do you mean insincere? Um, I think that people uh, are talking a great deal about wanting more housing, but not near them. The latest example of this conflict comes from Poway. Habitat for Humanity had a plan to build 22 affordable housing units for veterans on a vacant lot owned by the city. Several residents, some of whom said they were veterans, mobilized against the project at a recent city council meeting. They cited common arguments against density, traffic, and the less tangible neighborhood character. So I'm just saying that I think when it's built, it's going to be an eyesore. You're not going to like what you see. And I think the density is too great, the lot's too small, and you're going to have something that you're not going to like. All those in favor say aye. The council narrowly voted 3-2 to reject the project. Record will reflect that the motion was defeated. When it comes to this kind of opposition, Winkel doesn't mince words. It's disgusting. And this is the type of things that we fight. Because the NIMBYs are the greatest threat to densification. They don't want it. But they don't want it for any really articulated reason other than self-interest. And I'm not buying that. High-density housing is more profitable for developers, so it's not hard to understand why they support it. But they're not alone. Winkel is part of a new organization in San Diego called Housing You Matters. It's made him the unlikely bedfellow of environmentalists and affordable housing advocates, reflecting a growing consensus that density is the answer to many problems. Nicole Caprids heads the nonprofit Climate Action Campaign. Hey, How are you? you? You too. Thanks for coming. Her tiny office in University Heights is a stark contrast well, to the flashy matter. BIA matter. headquarters. What's Caprids is also is part of Housing You Matters. She says the low density sprawl of San Diego is behind the region's biggest contributor to climate change. Transportation is the single largest driver of uh, greenhouse gas emissions in our community. So our biggest carbon footprint comes from us driving to work. As a result, when people are living miles and miles away from where they're working, they're contributing again to the problem. Capritz has been an advocate for building denser housing near public transit so people can get around without a car. She admits environmentalists and the building industry have often been on opposing sides. That's why this new alliance was far from inevitable. I think it took an intentional effort on the part of all of us to kind of set aside past differences and maybe some remaining differences and instead focus on, okay, we're not going to agree on everything, but where can we come together? Where are we in alignment? We are going to ensure that housing sort of keeps rising to the top of the public policy agenda for every elected official in the region. And they can see that it's not just one particular interest group or stakeholder that's at the table, it's the broader community. Capritz, Finkel, and the other members of Housing You Matters have a list of policy goals for elected officials, but they also want to change people's minds and convince them that projects like the one in Poway aren't the problem, they're the solution. Andrew Bowen, KPBS News.